Shut up and sit down. So, oh, hello and welcome to a Northwell side by side video. Just a quick update on the two rear calipers I've been rebuilding for Padfoot, my MR2. They're now ready and built to go back on the uh, MR2. I've replaced the seal for the piston inside the bore. There's the old one. I've replaced the dust boot and a brand new stainless steel clip to hold it in place on that caliper. I'm leaving these rubber boots because they're not damaged and they're nice and free. On this caliper, I didn't take the piston out because the boot's not damaged. Don't play with what is working. Leave it alone. Just replace what you need to replace. We've put new slide rubber here and this is all nice and free. It's not very easy with one hand but believe me, there you go, it does move. And I've put a new rubber here. So all the slide pin rubbers are replaced on that caliper and the new dust boot on that caliper. One thing I will mention to you when you're setting these calipers They've got to be in that position. And Totra have been very, very kind to put a casting mark there, which I have to line up with the piston. So when you put the pads in, one of the pads has got a pin on the back of it and it locates in one of these little slots. That's really, really important. And it's the same on both calipers. Casting mark has to line up with that. I've had both of these calipers in the bench and I've tested the handbrake mechanism and they're both pushing the piston out. Both of them are and they're both returning. Now I've got to get pad foot up in the air and uh, pull the other calipers off and swap them over which is an easy job because it's only a matter of popping the clevis pin out of the handbrake cable taking the bracket off the other caliper bolting the bracket back on putting the clevis pin back in and then two bolts and the calipers back on the car then it's just a matter of bleeding them that's that's easy these bleed really nice and i always gravity bleed them i just crack the bleed nipple make sure there's plenty of fluid in the reservoir and i just give them five or ten minutes let the fluid come through naturally let it fill up the chamber because the bleed nipple is the highest point on the caliper that one wants that putting on stop the dust getting in it and just let the fluid naturally come out of the uh, bleed nipple lock one of them off let them bleed together lock one off and then just slowly slowly go into the car one good pump use a, a broom handle or something to hold the pedal down come out lock it off then just check that the foot brakes working and then go and do the other side crack the nipple foot brake lock it off make sure your foot brakes working then you can start on the dreaded handbrake i'm hoping these are going to work we can all but try Right hand caliper, left hand caliper. That's the orientation. So that one's drivers, that one's passenger. And they're both the same casting number, 4502. That one's a 4502 as well. 
there's a sticker on that one so we should be good to go yeah 53 53 they're both genuine calipers so I'm hoping that'll solve my handbrake problem I've just got the lovely job of fitting them now Anyhow, thanks for coming along on the update for Project Padfoot and the rear calipers and the handbrake problem. Thanks for watching. Please consider liking. Please consider subscribing.